What is going on guys back here with another new GTA 5 episode and in today's episode we are in a full well almost full lobby somebody just actually left um we're going to be uh selling my full nightclub in this lobby uh it doesn't seem to be any oppressors or anything other than one helicopter which should be fine um I probably should get my ass up real fast out of this chair and put this one million dollars into the bank before we start because I believe uh, the money deposited from the cell mission goes straight into your pocket and not your bank um, but if it does uh, I'm just gonna have my calculator out here and I'm just gonna take away the 16.265909 million that we got and it is now a full lobby. Um, we're going to sell this. I've been working on this all week. Since the beginning of uh, last Monday. Or. No. That's not right. What's today? Thursday. Last Thursday. So. As you guys can see right there. Uh, warehouse man admit. Or home. We got 303. 30. Or 360 crates. 1,931,000. $500 and sell all goods so this is what you guys want to do immediately when you guys get out of here it's gonna be the big van I don't have any I don't think I have any upgrades on this van whatsoever uh, I've been saving my money to do something and uh, for DLCs and whatnot so immediately run to the vehicle CEO Abilities, ghost. Boom, nobody can see you. And of course, it's the five drop-off locations, I believe, right? No, it's the three. So the first one, oh god. Right here. Boom, go. We get uh, three minutes off radar. We also get a $10,000 bonus on top of whatever. And you guys have to be quick with this, because uh, this shit's annoying. I don't want to lose anything. And if I lose this, I'm going to be pissed, because it took him so long to get. But we are in a 30-people lobby. I'm hoping no one fucks with me. I am a level 149, so I, you guys can definitely tell I've been grinding my ass off to even get close to what I've been doing lately. So we got two minutes still. You just gotta drive as fast as you can, and that shit is like right in the middle of the city. And like, there's so many people right there, and I don't even want to risk it. So I think I'm just gonna drive around them. Yeah, there's an easier way to get around these dipshits. And the reason I have a waypoint on is not because I didn't know where the location was. It was just so I can find a faster route because sometimes these things take you the quickest route. Get out of the fucking way. And immediately when my ghost organization is up, I'm going to call Lester and go... Uh, off radar. That was very close. Yep, that is closer than balls. Don't do it, you dumbass. Why does it have to be raining? Alright, let's see where the second location is. Sandy Shores. Three, six, five, four, and immediately call Lester. And 
They, everybody can see me right now, and hey, what's up? Oh, no I one help? can see me now. I can do it briefly. So I'm off the radar for another minute. From everybody. Okay, that hit the goddamn sidestep of the fucking thing. Quit fucking doing that, you fuck. Rocks are in their fucking bullshit ass fucking hit markers in this game, man. So annoying. That shouldn't be able to touch that. Shouldn't be a fucking thing that spins you out. Yeah, fuck your $10,000 bonus then. Maybe the AI shouldn't be douche wads and fucking get the fuck out of my way then. And to be honest, that fucking little $10,000 bonus doesn't mean goddamn shit to me. I have more money than your fucking mom. Okay. Well, now everybody in existence can see me. Because now I'm back on radar. Slow down. This thing is horrible when it doesn't have any brakes on it. Okay, and I know the third location's in, uh, Grapeseed. Go, 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 go. What are you stopped for? Go! If anybody comes and messes with you, jump out of the truck. That's what you can do. I don't like how I'm hearing cops. Don't you dare turn. <sighs> Move the fuck out of the way! So it's basically taken me a week to uh, get 360 crates. Uh, and I also had to call Johan or Johan or however you say his name. Was it Johan? Yeah, Johan. Uh, to uh, do some extra uh, sourcing goods for the nightclub itself. You can do that. As an, an alternative to make it a little bit faster, you get three to five crates, or yeah, three to five crates every time you call them in source crates. So I've been make trying to been waiting to make this video for a little while to see how much money I would get if I sold this in a uh, public session with full thirty people. I don't know if thirty people are in here now, but here we go. And it's probably going to tell us... Oh, nope, not on this one. It's just going to deliver it. So, all goods successfully successfully sold to the buyer. And how much money did we make? We made... I'm going to say like a couple million. 2.753470. Hey. 2.753470. I have 20 million dollars. I have 19 fucking million dollars. And th uh, this is honest to God. Last week I made 15 million. Or actually it was this week because I sold my shit on Monday. Uh, so Monday I made 15 million dollars from selling all my uh, crates. Which I don't know if I recorded that or not. And 
today I just made 2.7, which is fucking great because now I got 19 million. And uh, we were trying to, I am trying to do something personally, so this just helps out with what I was doing. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell. Make sure that post notification bell always stays on. And until next time, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.